Hey there, folks. Steve here. And I'm going to talk about dormers, manual and auto. And uh, just basic, really. But saw this post the other day, and there was a video posted. But I thought it was a little bit rambling, hard to follow. Uh, Tim did cover most everything, but it was specific to what he was doing. I Anyway, I'm going to do something a little more to the point. Just your typical Cape Cod 12-12 pitch. And uh, if we use the cross-section slider here, and maybe come out a little bit, you can see here, you know, just your typical, typical Cape Cod. So, um, anyway, I just thought I'd show you that to get rid of that for now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I've drawn this dormer, and it's a manual dormer. And if you look inside and look at the cheek walls that are created, they look pretty good. So um, manual dormers in chief don't always work perfectly, but eh, they work pretty well. So what? how do you do it? So the first thing I'm going to do is draw some exterior walls. And... Um, then I'm going to use control B and break that wall right there and pull that wall over to here. And then I'm going to put a dimension here and make this 60 inches. And there's no magic to that. I'm just using 60. And as you can see over here, um, the walls don't come through until we get a hole here. So the next thing I'm going to do is just pull these walls back to the, roughly this eight foot line. That's that dash line. Then I'm going to click here and get a rectangular polyline. Grab these snaps and drag it up. And then go down here to convert and make it a hole in roof custom ceiling. Plum sides. And there's your hole in the roof. And the next thing I'm going to do is just take my three key here, break it right in the center, and drag that up because eventually it's got to join with the roof. And I'm going to use my Q key and draw a roof plane right here to the center. And I'm going to make this overhang a little less. I'm going to make it six. And then I'm going to make this minus six, and it'll go past the gable there. Then I'm going to copy and reflect about. Then I'm going to take this edge of this roof and hit the two key. Hit this edge and let them join. Same here. Hit the two. Click here. Join. And there's our dormer. Pretty quick. Now the only catch to this is that these um, cheek walls over here are going down to the floor. And we don't want that. So, we got to fix that. How do we do that? Well, you click on this wall, hit Control B or Command B, depending on your platform, and then break these walls right there. Select them both, open them, click Roof Cuts Wall at bottom. And if you look, just because you did that doesn't mean they're going to cut at bottom. So, what you have to do is you have to select the hole. And what I did there is I clicked here and then I hit my tab and it selected the hole. Then hit your three key and break it right close to where you broke the wall and it automatically adjusted. Now if we look inside, cheek walls are cut and everything's beautiful. And your dormer is built. It wasn't too difficult. Copy this window, paste it right here in the center, dormer built, end of story. Pretty quick. And, uh, you know, that gives you lots of options. Now, if you try to edit this after you've done your roof, like let's say you really wanted this to be 80 inches wide. So you take this wall and you move it over here. As you can see, uh, things are not falling together. First of all, your roof's in the wrong place, so I would delete that. 
but then look at this hole. So you want to drag that to the outside and you want to drag this to the inside. And then I would just drag this up a little like that. And I would center this window in the dormer and pull this to the center. Then I would click on this edge and then click on this edge and join those two. In fact, let's just do this to make sure they join. Click here, click here with the two key. Then I'm going to copy and reflect about. Click here, two key, click there, join. And there's your dormer fixed. Good roof. If we look inside, cheek walls are built. Everything looks good. So there's some Z fighting going on there, but it's chief and it's never perfect for some odd reason. Don't ask me why, but it's pretty good. And um, now let's try to do the same thing with a auto dormer. So with an auto dormer, you do have some control. What I'm going to do is pick up this corner and bring it over here. This is the center of the dormer, what you got, and just click. And there you go. You got your room. Now double click it and you can open it up and let's change the walls to siding four like the other dormers. Let's set to existing ceiling and then roof. Let's just leave all that the same. Let's go box eaves, gutter, freeze. I'm not going to do shadow boards and hit OK. And uh, there you have it. Now the window is different. So I would just delete the window, copy this window, control C, and paste it right here. And then just in this right here, just center it on your dormer. And there's your auto dormer. Looks just like your manual dormer. And if you go inside, let's just drag this over here. This is the auto dormer. It actually was pretty easy and actually easier than doing it manual. And the good thing is if you did want to edit it, you can just click on it, come down here and explode dormer and you can explode it and you can do what you want, move walls or whatever you want to do. Same thing occurs though. You got a hole in your roof right here and that if you start moving the walls, you got to start moving the hole in your roof. So I hope that video helps. It's pretty quick, but covers the bases. Thanks, folks. One more thing I want to mention about these dormers, and that's these walls. And they look like they're walls that go all the way to the floor. And Chief Architect on their website actually has a, a good video on this. But what you should do, because you need the wall there, so you can't delete it, is create a new wall type. And you go in here and you copy this and you just, what I would do, siding for, I put a colon and put ghost dormer. Okay. And then what I would do here is take the fill off, maybe make it white. And then all these lines for all these layers, um, make them dash lines. And then it'll look like a, I don't know, maybe you can use this other one too. Make, um, so when you see it in 2D, um, it appears like this. So it looks like it's a wall. The wall is there, but you can tell it's floating. So if you select this wall and you just go Stormer. So it's a different wall type, but it looks like a you know, a floating wall now. It doesn't look like a solid wall to the floor. 
and um, that looks pretty good uh, on your manual on your uh, uh, we exploded this dormer didn't we so once you explode the dormer you can do the same thing on this auto dormer just pick the dormer ghost dormer wall and there you go so I just wanted to add that little tip and um, hope that was helpful